Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure DevOps, today we are going to learn how we can create a new work item in Azure DevOps. I have also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Database for MySQL, Jenkins, Azure DevOps, and Azure Key Vault. Most of the views are coming from non subscribed users. Please do subscribe if you enjoy this content. Let's go to dev.azure.com. So here, let's go to the organization under which we have created the project earlier and now we are going to create a work item. So let's go to this one. Here we have multiple projects. So for now, let's click on this exception logger. After clicking on exception logger, we will see the overview of the project on the right hand side and on the left hand side, we will see these menus. So here, let's click on boards. After clicking on boards, from here, let's click on new item. So under new work item, we have three types of work items. The first one is epic, then we have issue, and then finally we have a task. So an epic is a large body of work that can be broken down into smaller tasks or stories. Epics typically represent a high-level initiative or feature that can't be completed in a single iteration or sprint. So then we have issue. An issue is a generic term used to describe a unit of work that needs to be done. It can represent a task, a bug, or a user story, or any other work item. An issue can be of various sizes and complexities, ranging from small tasks to large features. And finally, we have a task. So a task is a specific manageable piece of work item that contributes to the completion of an issue. Tasks are smaller in scope as compared to issues and are often part of a large effort. So we can say that an issue may have multiple tasks and an epic may have multiple issues. Let's first create an epic, then we will create an issue inside this epic. And finally, we will create a task. Click on the epic. First of all, we have to provide the title for the epic. So here, let's say it, test epic. Then we can assign this epic to someone. So currently, I do not have any members for this project. So if you have shared this project or you, if you have added your team members to the project or organization, you will find those team members under this drop down. Here we can enter some comments for the user to which we have assigned our pick. Then we have state. So the state for now is to do. So we are going to assign this epic to someone so once the epic is done, we can change the state from to do to done. Then we have the area. The area here is exception logger, the project under which we are we have created this epic. Then we have iteration. We can say sprint one. Finally, we had description for this epic. So we can add that description here. And on the right hand side, we have planning. We can set the priority for this epic. So if it's a high priority task, we can set the priority to one. And if it's a low priority task, we can set the priority to four. Then we can add an existing work item to this epic. If we have a link, we will click on this add an existing work item. But for now, we do not have any other tasks or issues or epics in, under this project. So we won't be able to add any existing item. Then we have start date. Here we will choose the start date to 31st, its current date, and then we will end, choose the end date to 7th of Feb. And after this here, we can create a discussion. So under discussion, we can start a discussion for this epic with the developer to which the user study has been assigned or our project manager or the sprint owner so after entering all those details here, we have to click on the save button. So we have successfully created first epic. So let's go to work items. So here we will find this test epic. Now let's create an issue inside this epic. So click on this test epic. Here click on add link. 
so let's create a new item because we do not have any existing issues created earlier so if we have already created a, an issue we can link that issue using this existing item but we have not created one yet so let's click on this new item so here this will be a child so a child may be an issue or a task so let's enter the title for this issue test issue and then we can enter some comments and click on ok so we have created this test issue here the state is to do as already discussed once the issue is done we can change the state to done then the area is exception logger our project and then the sprint is sprint one and then we have this description and discussion same as we have with the epic and then we have this planning under planning we have priority we can change the priority to one two three four depending upon our requirement and then we have the efforts so under efforts we can put the estimated time so let's say 24 hours and that's three days and after entering all those details let's click on save and close now let's go back to work items so now we have one test issue and we have one test epic so inside this test issue we are going to create a task here under related work item let's click on add link so create a new item here the item will be child to this because we are going to create a task so here we are going to create a new task click on ok enter the title so the title will be test task then we have description and discussion similar to epic and issue and on the right hand side priority and planning and here we have activity so here we have to assign the type of the activity if it's a design activity we will choose design if it's a deployment or it's a development activity we will choose accordingly so let's say it's a development activity so here under discussion we can start discussion about this task so click on save and close so we have finally created a task now let's click on work items so here under work items we can see we have created an epic an issue and a task so in the next video we will learn how we can create uh, link our code repositories to our work items on azure devops thanks